Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to subtract integers. Before starting to subtract the integers, let us revise the rules for subtracting integers. Whenever there is a positive sign and a negative sign or a negative sign and a positive sign, that means the signs are opposite, we are going to subtract the two numbers. And whenever the signs are same, that is two positive sign or two negative sign together, we'll add the two numbers. This sign rule follows for both addition and subtraction of integers and in this we need to take care that the resultant sign or the final sign of the answer will be the sign of the number which is bigger in numerical value. So let us solve few examples here to clarify this. Our first example is 5 minus negative 8. So first of all we will copy 5 then we have two negative signs together. When there are two negative signs together, the sign will change to positive. So the sign will be plus 8 and we are going to add the two numbers. So 5 plus 8 is 13. So that is going to be our final answer. Let's move on to our second example. Here too, we are going to copy the first number which is negative 5. And now we have two negative sign in between the two numbers. When there are two signs which are same, the sign will change to positive. So this is going to be negative 5 plus 8. Now we have a positive and a negative number. So whenever the signs are opposite, we are going to subtract the two numbers. So 8 minus 5 is 3. This is our final answer. Let us move on to the next example where we have two negative numbers, negative 3 and negative 4. Whenever there are two signs which are negative, we are going to add the two numbers. So negative 3, negative 4 will be equal to 7. But here we have to take care of the sign as 4 is bigger than 3 and the sign for number 4 is negative. So the resultant will be negative 7. So this is going to be our final answer. As we see in our previous example, we have 8 which is bigger than negative 5 and the sign of 8 is positive so that's plus. Let's move on to the last example. Here we have negative 11 and we have two negative sign. Whenever there are two negative sign, that sign will be changed to positive. So that's going to be plus 5. Now we have a negative and a positive number. So we are going to subtract the two numbers so that's going to be 6 and the resultant sign will be of the bigger number. here. 11 is bigger than 5 so the sign of the resultant will be of the bigger number which is negative so the resultant will be negative 6. So this is how we subtract integers. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.